mean, at the beginning of the year, I said the breakout asset was going to be Bitcoin. I think it looks like it's going to be the resounding inflation hedge asset for the next 50 or 100 years. So that die has been cast. I think you're seeing the last vestiges of people using gold as a rational economic insurance policy, but I think the future is specifically Bitcoin on that dimension. So I guess you could trade that, you could speculate on that. Chamath Palihapitiya, a visionary billionaire with his reputation for betting on high-impact investments, stands before an audience, holding nothing back. He's not shy about his thoughts on Bitcoin's future. This is a man who's seen the tech evolution firsthand and now believes Bitcoin's price, currently hovering around $68,000, represents just the beginning of its larger story. In his view, the cryptocurrency is poised to become the ultimate hedge against inflation, even eclipsing gold as the go-to asset for those seeking financial security in times of global instability. Chamath's latest comments echo his long-standing stance on Bitcoin. He argues that Bitcoin is not only a financial asset, but a shift in how people approach money itself, particularly in a time when inflation pressures are reshaping economies worldwide. With traditional financial systems grappling to keep up, institutional investors are being drawn to Bitcoin as an alternative. Its appeal, lying in its decentralized structure and its finite supply, something fiat currencies and even gold can't quite offer in the same way. The year 2024, Chamath believes, will go down as a pivotal point in Bitcoin's trajectory. He predicted earlier this year that Bitcoin would emerge as the standout inflation hedge, a safe haven for investors navigating a storm of monetary tightening and escalating fiscal pressures worldwide. For Chamath, Bitcoin's ascent represents more than just a surge in popularity. It's a fundamental shift, a moment when Bitcoin could permanently alter the traditional financial landscape. While gold has long held the title of the ultimate inflation hedge, he argues that Bitcoin, with its fixed 21 million supply, offers a more potent shield against the eroding value of fiat money. What's particularly exciting for Chamath this year is the anticipated approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. ETFs could bring Bitcoin into mainstream portfolios, giving institutional and retail investors a way to hold the asset without the technical complications of direct ownership. To Bitcoin advocates, this isn't just another financial product. It's validation from the traditional finance world, signaling Bitcoin's shift from a fringe asset to one firmly within the financial lexicon. Shamath believes that 2024 may very well be the year Bitcoin crosses the chasm into mainstream adoption, pushing it toward the level of acceptance typically reserved for stocks, bonds, and commodities. By the end of 2024, Shamath anticipates that Bitcoin will hold a permanent spot in mainstream financial conversations. After years of being seen as a speculative investment, he believes this is the year Bitcoin will secure its place as a recognized legitimate asset. Chamath envisions a future where Bitcoin isn't just a high-risk bet, it's a serious financial instrument, a tool investors trust for wealth preservation. And once that point is reached, he expects Bitcoin to gain momentum in ways the financial world has never seen before. Chamath's forecast is rooted in Bitcoin's historical price patterns, especially those linked to Bitcoin halving events, which reduce the rate at which new Bitcoins are created. Every four years, these halvings cut the new supply of Bitcoin in half, driving scarcity. Typically, after a halving, Bitcoin's price stabilizes for a few months, followed by a sharp increase as demand outpaces supply. If this pattern holds in 2024 and 2025, Chamath believes Bitcoin's price could soar, potentially reaching a staggering $500,000 per coin by October 2025, an estimate that places Bitcoin in a league few assets have ever reached. For Chamath, Bitcoin isn't merely a digital currency, it's an insurance policy against the vulnerabilities of traditional monetary systems. With governments around the world often devaluing their currencies through monetary policies, Bitcoin's decentralized nature and scarcity become increasingly attractive. In Chamath's eyes, we're witnessing the final days of gold as the preferred safe haven asset. Bitcoin, by contrast, 
offers a secure, decentralized option that resists inflationary pressures, a feature that becomes glaringly valuable when compared to the traditional economy, especially the U.S. economic environment. Chamath's outlook on the U.S. economy is particularly grim. The nation is facing a host of challenges, climbing debt servicing costs, persistent inflation, and a central bank navigating an increasingly complex balancing act. In an attempt to tame inflation without derailing economic growth, the Federal Reserve recently enacted a notable 50 basis point rate cut, a rare move outside of crisis periods like the 2008 financial crisis or the 2020 pandemic. Chamath and his podcast co-hosts on the All In podcast suggest this aggressive rate cut hints at deeper economic concerns than the Fed openly admits. It signals that the Fed may be panicking, striving to stabilize markets and the economy without alarming the public. Adding to the analysis, David Sachs, Chamath's co-host and a co-founder of Kraft Ventures, views these rate cuts as exposing a critical vulnerability in the U.S. economic foundation. He forecasts that inflation will continue to rise, exacerbated by growing debt servicing costs and an unstable fiscal outlook. Household, corporate, state, and federal debt in the U.S. has ballooned to a staggering $68 trillion. With average interest rates around 6%, the annual debt servicing cost amounts to roughly $4 trillion, or 15% of every dollar in the economy, an unsustainable load that could push investors towards safer assets like Bitcoin. In this economic climate, Bitcoin's role as a haven asset becomes even more compelling. Traditionally, Investors turn to gold when uncertainty looms, but Shamath believes Bitcoin is an even more viable option, especially as its institutional acceptance expands. With central banks potentially having to monetize debt by printing money to buy back national debt, inflation may rise further. Bitcoin, with its hard cap of 21 million coins, offers a finite inflation-resistant asset that contrasts sharply with fiat currencies which can be devalued as central banks increase money supply. Chamath's thoughts also reflect a broader shift in global finance. China, a former heavyweight holder of U.S. Treasury bonds, has been reducing its holdings, preferring to invest in gold over U.S. debt. This strategy underscores vulnerabilities in the dollar's position as the world's reserve currency, sparking concerns over the future stability of the U.S. dollar. Should more countries follow China's lead, the dollar could depreciate further, making Bitcoin and other decentralized assets increasingly attractive as stores of value. Adding to this, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, projects global public debt to surpass $100 trillion by the end of 2024, with an alarming trajectory that could lead to global debt levels reaching 100% of global GDP by decade's end. The IMF warns that nations are now facing a fiscal policy trilemma, having to balance security, growth, and debt management amid increasing public resistance to tax hikes. This evolving economic strain echoes Chamath's outlook, painting a picture of a world where traditional finance faces growing obstacles, while Bitcoin's appeal as a hedge against inflation and currency devaluation strengthens. For investors aligned with Chamath's vision, Bitcoin symbolizes more than a speculative asset. It's a safeguard in an increasingly centralized, unstable financial system. In a world where fiat currencies and traditional safe haven assets like gold are under pressure, Bitcoin offers a promising horizon, one where wealth preservation and financial stability are independent of government policies. As investors seek alternative avenues to protect their wealth, Bitcoin's future shines bright standing as a powerful symbol of financial resilience and a hedge against an uncertain global economy.